Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. This is a plane. Looks uh, a bit strange from this angle actually, but uh, whoop. That's right. It's like an SU-47 except not. Um, I'm calling it an SU-47 SU even though it's very much not an SU-47. Just because it's similar a little bit and I like it. I like it. You like to move it, move it. Oh wait. Yeah, so, ooh, yeah, so this is the design, you can see it's got some control surfaces, it had control surfaces on the front here of these two backwards facing wings, but those, um, I don't know, maybe it's something to do with like a glitchiness of the control system or something, but basically every time I tried to roll, um, those things would induce a roll in one direction and then not let me recover from that roll, so I got rid of them. And uh, so right now I'm just going to, oh, oh, I thought I was going to hit the engines there. I almost did. Yeah, so we're in the air already. And we're going to go pretty fast, pretty quickly. This thing's a little bit unstable. Uh, just a little bit, because it's got those wings that are placed at a slight angle. You see that? That are used over the fuselage. That slight angle is enough to make this thing unstable a bit. Whoa. And it does like to roll randomly from side to side, and you have to correct for that. So it is a bit hard to fly. Also, I have a feeling that... Oh, it's not even using fuel from that tank. Which tank is it using fuel from? Which... What? Oh, that one up front. I forgot that was a fuel tank, actually. Yeah, I have a feeling once it uses the fuel in this fuel tank, that it would become uh, very hard to fly. Like... You might want to disable this tank. Did, come on, I'm trying to click it. Click. Click. Why is this not letting me click it? What? It... Oh, it's disabled, but it wouldn't show me that it was disabled. That's, that's a weird glitch. Whatever. Whatever. Anyhow, um... I recommend disabling fuel flow from that, uh... From that thingy thingy uh words they fail me uh until like until you only have like maybe this tank or these two tanks actually yeah once you have these two tanks and that that forward tank then you can enable the flow i think maybe i don't know maybe maybe not maybe you want that to be your last tank it is pretty near to the center of gravity i believe the center of gravity is right under this tank this uh central tank it's right under this front part pretty sure not really sure I love how I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing with the plane while I'm explaining this. Like, I have no idea what I was doing. Doing all kinds of crazy stuff, but I have no idea what I was doing. Let's go in the cockpit! Oh, wait. Yeah, I, I can't wait till we get those new cockpit views, the other cockpit views done. Also, yeah, the new cockpit views. Have you seen that? Um, I don't know, depending on when this video is coming out, I may have made that video that was showing a bunch of stuff from point 18 or not. No, I'm not on the dev team, I just was looking at videos that the dev team posted and, and pictures. I don't know why you would think I'm on the dev team. No offense, but uh, if you thought that, you're dumb. And, and I don't get why some people are that dumb. I don't know. You know what, it's, it's not your fault. You didn't know any better. But now you do, so shut up. I don't know. Also, uh, this thing is... Either I'm paying more, much more attention to how I'm landing this time than I have the past couple of times I've landed something, or this one's a lot easier to land than the past things I've been landing. I don't know which it is, but uh, yeah. There's the SU-47. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. So pretty. Yes. See you in space. Thanks for watching, etc., etc. Then see you in space.